hello friends my name is Tessie and you're welcome to my channel I want to say a very big thank you to my subscribers so far so far and if you're new to my channel you're welcome please support me by subscribing okay I wish to get to a thousand subscribers before the year runs out and I need your support to get to that number just click on that red button below and subscribe it's totally free okay so today I'm going to be showing you how to draft a pencil sketch pattern okay you'll be needing your tape your hip curl or your pattern master and you also be needing your scissors your marker for, the, for this okay if you don't have a pattern master or a hip curl you can use your free hand if you are good at that so i will start by marking one inches downward which is going to be my starting line okay i'll mark tick one inch and then i'll connect it with a straight line okay so i'll draw a straight line there that is going to be my starting point my starting line so this skate i'll be making will have band so i'll be minusing two inches for my band for my skate length or minus two inches so i'll place my tape on the number two on the two inches okay and then i'll take the 28 inches which is going to be my skate length i'm also taking i'll also take eight inches which is going to be my hip line okay it's basic eight inches for hip line and then 28 inches for my skate length and then i also add one inch for folding allowance which is going to be 29 okay 28 inches is for my um, skate length and then I tick also on 29 which is making it 1 inches addition for my folding allowance okay and then I'll draw a straight line on all my points So right now I'm going to be putting my hip and uh, my waist circumference measurement okay my hip and um, waist circumference is 37 divided by 4 I have 9.25 plus 1 inch for my dart which is going to be 10.25 and then I also take half inch for my sewing allowance okay and then my hip measurement is 42 divided by 4 I have 10.5 and then I also take half inches for my sewing allowance. So the measurement I have for my hip, I'll minus 1.5 from it, which is going to be 9 inches. Then I take it on my skate length. Depending on how pencil you want yours to be, you can minus 2 inches or 2 and half, but I minus 1 inches, okay? So now I'm going to be connecting all my points, okay? So having done that, I'm going to be putting my dart measurement. My dart measurement is going to be my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple is 8 inches. Divide by 2, I have 4 inches plus half inch sewing allowance. Okay, making it 4.5. And then I'll also take half inch on both sides. Okay, and then my dart length for the front skirt is going to be 4 inches, which is 2 inches above the hip line. So right now I'm going to be connecting my dots. Guys, sorry for the background noise. <laughs> it's actually a generator that is making that noise. So sorry about that, okay? Okay, I haven't done that I'm going to be cutting it no I'm going to put half inches upward okay sorry not half inch 0 
0 0.75 which is quarter three quarter three quarter inches on my hip side i'll call i'll go up by 0 0.75 i'll connect it to the other edge of my skirt just the way i'm doing it okay So I'm drawing a straight line there first, but you need to connect it in a curvy way, which I'm going to do later. I'm going to curve that side, okay? So right now I have connected it. And I'm going to be cutting it out. So right now I have cut the front pattern out and I've also used it to trace the back panel, okay? And I added 1.5 inch for my zip allowance, okay? Sorry guys, I also put my um, dash already but the camera was not capturing it. But I'm going to explain what I did there, okay? Like I said before, I used 1.5 for my hip, mm, sorry, for my zip allowance. That is 1.5. And then I also did the same thing I did on the front panel. I used 4.5 inch for my dart, half inch for the sewing allowance. And then, then I take half inch on both sides. But the back dart length is usually longer than the front, okay? So I use 5 inches for my back dart length. Remember the front we use 4 inch, but for the back, we're going to be using 5 inches, okay? So on my hip side, I'm going to go up by 3 quarter, just like we did on the front side, okay? I'll go up by 3 quarter. 0 0.75 and then on the zip side i'll come down by 0 0.5 okay and i'll connect it with a straight line with, and then i'll also still curve it so right now i have curved it and i'm going to be cutting it out now okay so i have cut it out my front pattern and uh, pattern and then for my the front pattern for my skirt and also the back panel okay so that's my zip allowance if you want to cut it on your fabric please you have to fold your fabric into two before placing the pattern and trace okay fold your fabric into two and then place your pattern and trace thank you all for watching see you on my next video please like share and subscribe and if you have any question or suggestion please leave it on the comment section bye